Hello drivers, I hope you're having a fantastic week, here today we're going to talk about this controversial little valve on your diesel engine that's causing heated debates in garages across America. Some mechanics will tell you it destroys your engine, others claim removing it will cost you thousands in fines. The truth lies somewhere between these extremes and I'm going to give you my honest opinion based on 15 years of experience in the automotive industry. The performance gains are absolutely real, but so are the risks, and some long-term consequences will surprise you. Stay until the end because I'll explain the 3 EGR delete methods and which ones are causing the most problems right now. So what exactly is this famous EGR system that frustrates so many diesel owners across the country? EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation, and this system was designed with one single goal, reduce nitrogen oxide emissions to meet environmental standards. The principle is simple, it takes hot exhaust gases from your engine and sends them back into the intake. These gases mix with the fresh air entering your engine, which lowers combustion temperature and reduces nitrogen oxide formation. On paper, this sounds environmentally friendly, but in reality, this system creates a mountain of problems that dealerships love to repair over and over again. Let me explain this simply for you. Imagine breathing a mixture of fresh air and your own exhaled breath, your body won't function very well, right? That's exactly what happens to your diesel engine when the EGR valve operates. It mixes fresh air with hot, dirty exhaust gases, which lowers combustion temperature sure, but also introduces contaminants and reduces available oxygen. The result is your engine gets clogged faster and loses performance. Now let's talk about the advantages of an EGR delete because the results will surprise you. The first advantage is immediate power increase. When you remove this system, your engine finally receives fresh, oxygen-rich air. Combustion becomes more efficient and you gain horsepower and torque instantly. From my experience, I think most drivers feel the difference from the very first mile after the modification. Your diesel comes back to life, it pulls better, accelerates more smoothly and responds much better to the accelerator pedal. The second major advantage is fuel economy improvement that can really make a difference in your budget. Think about it logically, when your engine burns a mixture of fresh air and dirty exhaust gases, it works harder to produce the same power. Remove those dirty gases and your engine suddenly operates much more efficiently. Many drivers observe a 5-10% to improvement in their fuel consumption. Over a full year, that represents hundreds of dollars in savings at the pump. The third advantage is much cleaner combustion inside your engine. Here's something your dealership will never tell you, exhaust gases contain soot and carbon particles. When these contaminants pass through the EGR system again, they deposit everywhere inside your engine. These thick, sticky deposits reduce performance, increase operating temperature and can cause serious damage over time. Remove the EGR and you eliminate this problem at its source. The fourth advantage is potentially longer engine life. EGR systems are famous for failing in ways that can completely destroy your engine. A stuck EGR valve can let too much exhaust gas into the combustion chamber, creating lean conditions that cause engine knock. EGR coolers can develop leaks causing coolant loss and overheating. Remove the entire system and these weak points disappear completely. Driver, this mistake, everyone makes it at least once, we let EGR problems drag on thinking they'll go away. But the reality is the longer you wait, the more damage accumulates in your engine. Contamination progresses every day, performance drops little by little, and one day the expensive breakdown hits you. The fifth and final advantage is fewer repairs, which means more money in your pocket. How many times have you heard about someone replacing their EGR valve or cleaning the contamination caused by this system? These are recurring problems that bring a lot of money to mechanics. With an EGR delete, these troubles belong to the past and your wallet feels much better. But before running to the garage with a wrench, we need to talk about the other side of this modification. The first major disadvantage is increased pollutant emissions. 
The EGR system exists for a specific reason, and removing it will increase your vehicle's nitrogen oxide emissions. This means your car will likely fail emissions testing in regions where it's mandatory. You absolutely must take this into account in your decision, especially if you live in a low emission zone or a major city with restrictions. The second risk is engine knock. If the modification isn't done correctly, when you remove the EGR system, your engine's air fuel ratio changes completely. Without proper computer reprogramming to compensate for this change, you could end up with a mixture that's too lean causing devastating knock. That's why professional tuning is absolutely critical, never attempt this yourself. The third disadvantage is that some vehicles may have slightly louder exhaust noise after an EGR delete. This isn't necessarily negative, but it's something to know, especially if you want to keep the original appearance and sound. And here's the big problem you absolutely must understand, the legal issues in America. Modifying emission control devices is prohibited by federal law and EPA regulations. This means EGR deletes are only legal for competition or off-road vehicles that never drive on public roads. If you're caught driving a modified vehicle on public highways, you risk very heavy fines. Enforcement varies by state, but federal law is clear everywhere in America. Warranty cancellation is practically guaranteed. All major manufacturers can refuse engine warranty if they discover an EGR delete. Knowing that a modern diesel engine can cost between $15,000 and $30,000 to replace, this represents an enormous financial risk. Finally, EGR deletion can affect your vehicle's resale value. Many buyers won't consider vehicles with removed emission systems because of legal and reliability problems. Even buyers who aren't bothered by modifications often use them as arguments to negotiate the price down. So how do you actually perform an EGR delete in practice? As promised, I'll detail the three main EGR deletion methods and their implications. There are three main approaches, each with different costs and complexity levels. The first method is blocking the EGR system with metal plates. This involves installing plates between the EGR valve and intake manifold, preventing exhaust gas passage while keeping all original components in place. This method maintains a stock appearance but still requires computer reprogramming. It's discrete and relatively easy to reverse if needed. The second approach is complete hardware removal. This involves removing the EGR valve, all connection pipes, hoses and often the EGR cooler. Openings in the intake and exhaust manifolds are then sealed with appropriate plates. This method is more complete but also more visible and harder to reverse. From my experience, I think the third method is often the most effective, software deletion only. This approach keeps all hardware in place but programs the computer to keep the EGR valve permanently closed. It's often the most efficient method and can be easily reversed if necessary. No visible trace of modification and return to original with just a few clicks. Regardless of the method you choose, professional computer reprogramming is essential. Without proper calibration, you risk engine damage and poor performance. Never trust this to just anyone, find a recognized specialist in your area. Let's now talk about costs because this is where the calculations become really interesting. A basic EGR delete kit costs between $100 and $600 depending on your vehicle's complexity. Even if you pay a professional tuner between $300 and $500 for computer work, you arrive at a total investment under $1,000. Compare this to the recurring cost of EGR system repairs that can easily exceed this amount over your vehicle's lifetime. An EGR valve costs between $300 and $800. An EGR cooler can reach $1,500 and regular cleaning of contamination costs at least $200 each time. But be careful, the financial advantages only count if you can legally drive your modified vehicle where you live. And this is where it gets complicated in America with increasingly strict controls. Let me explain this simply, EGR systems aren't inherently bad but they aren't perfect either. 
they work better under specific conditions with proper maintenance and quality fuel. When these conditions aren't met, problems become inevitable. City driving with lots of stops, poor quality fuel, extended maintenance intervals, all this kills the EGR system. From my experience, I think many EGR problems could be avoided with more rigorous maintenance. But the reality on the ground is most drivers don't do this preventive maintenance and end up with expensive breakdowns. So what's the final verdict on EGR deletes? These modifications can bring real benefits, increased power, better fuel economy, cleaner combustion, extended engine life and fewer repairs. However, these advantages come with trade-offs, increased emissions, potential legal problems and need for professional tuning. If you're considering this modification, make sure you understand your local laws, have access to professional tuning and weigh whether the benefits compensate for the risks in your specific situation. The decision is yours, but make it with complete information, not just the selective facts your dealership gives you. In some cases, it may be wiser to invest in rigorous preventive maintenance rather than deletion. Regular intake system cleaning, using quality additives and strictly respecting maintenance intervals can significantly extend your EGR system's life. But if you drive a lot, if you've already had multiple EGR failures and if you accept the legal risks, then deletion can be an economically interesting solution. Each situation is unique and deserves personalized analysis. What do you think on your side, have you already had recurring problems with your exhaust gas recirculation system? Your experience with your diesel and these famous emission systems interests me greatly. If this video helped you better understand the pros and cons of EGR deletion, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel for more diesel automotive content, your wallet and your diesel vehicle will thank you for staying informed on these important technical subjects.